basically how do uh, how i look at far fish is uh, is something like a cricket ground where for example everyone who plays on the cricket ground are players there's no doubt about that they are not teachers they are not professors they are not doctors they are players they are cricketers but what puff fish is all about is giving a facility is giving an opportunity for everyone to come and play on the ground because when you play in nets in those nets and when you play on the ground under pressure in front of the crowd that is where everything comes out that is where the pressure comes out that is where you deal with the techniques that is where you play exactly how it should be played you know you make mistakes there but you learn the next time but when you play the same shots same thing indoor grounds indoor nets though you make mistakes you won't feel how much mistakes that would have done Uma Sangakkara is doing daily practice sessions in the morning at 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. But that two hours is just as two minutes on the ground, live playing in front of the public under different circumstances. So what you all have done, I'm just taking this example so that everyone will understand how precious the puff of fish is. Because everyone can speak English. There's no question about that. There's no question about that. By the way, we all won't be here. but to what extent to what degrees and what are the fine tunings is taught in puffish platform because for example there are different degrees in which people will people will speak english language we are not talking greek we are not talking you know korean language we are talking english we have heard we have spoken but it 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 gives an opportunity to everyone to elevate themselves from where they stand for example i may be at, for example Uh, I may be at 60%, you know, at 60%. Someone else will be at 75%. Someone will be at 30%, you know. But definitely by getting into this platform, no one for sure, God willing, will not decrease or will not come down in their percentages. You understand? So it's it for example if someone who is at 30%, for example, and if he can if Puffish facilitates with its resources, if it is powerful super resources committed resources can elevate their speaking abilities speaking skills and with all leadership skills to a level who we who can come up to say 70% for example from 30 to 70% that is a lifetime investment that's a lifetime achievement you know if someone speaks at 30% i'm just taking very layman language layman examples so, so that everyone will understand If someone who comes to this platform fresh new guy who has not heard of heard of Powerfish at all at 30% level of uh, of competency and after a certain period if he can elevate himself to 70% by your coaching by your techniques by your commitment by you I'm sure you all can do it definitely there's no question about what be but if you can increase up to 70% that 40% elevation is is for me it's even valuable you know because it's it's a lifetime and that 70% very unlikely will come back to 30% 40% for sure it's a matter of you know you know the matter of keeping the momentum going and definitely a guy who who can speak at 30% and increase up to 70% will definitely for sure he'll come up to 90% very soon with that inspiration with that motivation with that achievement you know that for that i think money can't value you, know? you, you it's not 20 you know it's, it's not whatever the amount that you all are charging whatever it is it's it's that that elevation that standard that increase in standard that 40% increase is invaluable in terms of uh, what he, what that 40% could do definitely for sure in whatever the circumstances he may be a corporate guy he may be an entrepreneur he may be any different different teaching he may be different levels of, uh, of 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 his working career of his professional but that definitely will add value to everything what he does so that is that is what i i feel where performance is and and we as participants including myself should definitely will make use of it and and uh, and will be in a different level and that as i as i as i repeat it again it's a one time investment and for that one time investment is is invaluable for me you know you, you, the results would be will be absolutely amazing for everyone and you can do wonders after that so this is how i i i perceive as parfish and an excellent job and and keep going show you band the team thank you
as a coach when you work with children you identify you are learning patterns on how they can be taught you put effort on talent it becomes a skill my ambition is to become an army officer the ambition gives us the direction i think by becoming an army officer i can do a lot to save my country when we have a clear ambition we can find the proper guidance it is not easy to achieve anything in this world without effort however we must keep on our own attention to select the right decision it is always best to set high goals to get there as we are children this is a big confusion among us and each and every young learner's learning pattern is different they work on based on emotion well i would like to thank uh, for just um, because uh, sandeep has uh, got a remarkable improvement after joining this program never underestimate the mind Hello everybody and a very very warm and good evening to all of you. I know very well that you're not here to listen to anything that I've got to say and you have your intentions at best stake in order to listen to all the young junior ICPians express themselves on this evening's topic effective hobbies. Uh backstage I have Mufizur Rahman and Harindu Nagawata. I'm going to invite both of them in. and uh, let's get into discussion as to what an effective hobby is and what their hobbies are hi harindu how are you keeping i'm fine how are you excellent excellent uh, have you been having a busy day a normal day a casual day whatever day is it uh i'm having a busy day today busy day today how did your day start what time did you start your day harindu mm, at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. as usual, super duper. I respect I respect your 5 a.m. Uh, club habit. Uh, really appreciate it, and uh, I hope that you are a source of inspiration to many. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I think that too. Definitely, definitely. All right. Uh, before I bring uh, Mufiz Rahman on board, I'd like to ask you this question about effective hobbies. What's your thought about it? Uh... so effective hobbies help us actually because with a person without a hobby is not complete at all if you okay. have a hobby you have something to do when you are free or when you are bored you can do mm-hmm. something so effective hobbies so i have a lot of effective hobbies uh i'm reading books so that's one of my hobbies actually when i have nothing to do i'm gonna read a book and enjoy that book and i'm going to that world like when i'm reading the book i'm thinking of that world the world so if there's a story i'm in that story i'm thinking like that and i also love to ride bicycles i love it a lot because it helps me to Mm, energize a little more and i will have more strength and i will lose weight when i'm riding the bicycle <laughs> and it helps me to helps me in keeping balance when i'm riding the bicycle i always have to balance it without balance i will fall down so it's like a lesson to me without balance your life is not complete that's so effective and i love to collect records as in music records and it help me, helps me to get to that emotions in songs there are emotions that some people understand so playing a record when i'm free helps me build new emotions and helps me actually relax because i love listening to songs so it helps me relax a lot 
and many records I have are rap music because they are so fast and I love fast music. There are meaningful words in rap music more than slow music. And my favorite artist is XXX Tentacion. His songs are inspiring and I would like to become like him. And my one of my favorite books also, one of my favorite books is Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Because you know that feeling when you read it, you can feel that you're in that story. And if, if there's a moment, I'm in that moment. I feel like that when I'm reading it. And when I'm riding the bicycle, I'm like in another world. Because I know I'm in this world. But when I'm riding the bicycle, I'm so happy. Because I lose weight. And I learn to balance. And that helps me. So And that makes me happy. So by cycling helps me. It's, it's effective. Reading books helps me. It's effective. And also collecting records is effective too. Interesting. Interesting. I, I see that um, you have curtailed your hobbies around a lot of effective uh, results-oriented things. Uh, let's listen to Mufiz Rahman, what his hobbies are, and then let's take the conversation to the next level. Um, let's bring him in. Hi. Hello, Mufiz. How are you? I'm, top, I'm positively tip-top. Thanks. Yeah, positively tip-top. That's a very good answer. Thank you very much, uh, Mufiz. Mufiz, uh, myself and Harindu were discussing about effective hobbies and how effective hobbies uh, really give some benefit. Uh, what are the effective hobbies you have? Uh, football. Okay. Playing football with my friends. Nice. Any other? I hobbies? enjoy playing football with my friends. Football okay. is my favorite sport. In fact, I am looking forward to be a great footballer. Playing football has many benefits, such as increase fitness, improve a healthy mindset, and increase body movements. I do play football with my friends and neighbors. It increases my confidence as well. Every time we meet up to play, there is someone new I meet. Football is an amazing sport, which uh, connects people and secure them with a strong bond. Thank you. Interesting, interesting. Harindu, what do you think about uh, team sports as hobbies? Mufiz has yeah. a team sport as football. Yeah, I'm also playing in uh, team sports, and that's also an effective hobby. Sorry, I couldn't mention it. Okay. It helps me because I'm the captain of my team of in basketball, and uh, it, it it taught me leadership and and uh, team sports helps. Yeah, helps me a lot. Uh, and I am a scout leader. And I am a you scout a leader, scout and I leader. like to be a scout leader. Then uh, we have one one groups like red, like that. I am in a brown. I'm the leader of that, and it's so fun. I like to be a leader. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I also like to be a leader in the scouting troop. Interesting. So um, now, uh, one thing very common between the both of you, uh, Mufiz and uh, Harindu. What I've realized is that both of you like team sports and both of you enjoy, uh, what can I say, uh, leadership as well. Uh, what, are the, what are the hobbies that you believe that impacts your leadership? Uh, I'd like to post this question to uh, Mufiz first. A football captain. Okay. A football captain, uh, we need to lead the team correctly if not we can't win like we when we uh, if we not like hit a goal we must not we need to do teamwork every time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then only we can like win the match and we can be happy <laughs> <Successful>. <laughs> indeed indeed uh, harindu what's your take on what uh, mufis just mentioned yeah, it's true. Uh, when playing football, you need to lead them because there are different different ways. 
football is a good game actually and football improves leadership the same as basketball because when playing basketball you need to tell the team uh, the t- team members where you should go such as be in the corner of there so when i pass the ball catch it right there and put it dunk it like that so you need to have a great mind to plan uh, to win the game and also be good with the team members some leaders are not like they don't listen to the team members but uh, in my team i listen to them because they are like they are my friends and they are ayas in my team too and i listen to them too interesting interesting so uh, leadership is part of listening also and not just simply playing through go ahead mufi sorry for interrupting uh if we now when we are playing if he just missed that goal we must not like shout him we must tell okay okay well done and we need to lead the team like that we need to be a proper leader we can have a successful game uh you mean to say to be supportive uh, while you are playing the game uh yes. as well we must right. not uh, listen only for us like we need to listen for other people's plan either um mufi is there something else as a hobby that has come to my light i believe that you enjoy driving yes i like driving vehicles all right interesting and uh, how long have you been driving like uh, nearly only i learned to drive uh, car and van okay my special is uh, auto and i my special is i learn so soon anyway okay guys. interesting interesting uh do you have interest of uh, uh, learning to um, uh, operate uh, bigger vehicles like for example like uh, tractors or uh, heavy vehicles as well do you have interest of learning them i am in in that uh, like i'll drive when we drive vehicles we'll get the very big confidence like okay need... i'm very interesting i'm very interested in okay right that's where that's quite good uh, harindu how about you and uh, vehicles have you had the opportunity to learn how to operate a vehicle um no i didn't get the chance to operate a vehicle so i'm thinking of learning how to drive under supervision of course I, like mufi yeah, definitely yeah. under supervision yes yeah so yeah. learning <laughs> learning to drive i'm i'm still afraid of driving a little bit okay. because if if i go fast and i i hit something something will happen to me oh, or no going will happen to the car yeah no yeah. going fast so, no going fast yeah. Yeah. we don't we don't Rest nobody drive to speed we drive to achieve something not to be in trouble yeah <laughs> yeah first i will learn a little bit still not yeah. driving and then when i am at the legal age i will go out to the road interesting okay um, it has also come learning. to my life yes mufis sorry learning is a never ending uh, never ending um, journey like yeah indeed indeed uh, i think we all agree to that uh, learning is a never ending journey and it is something very important uh, harindu um, it's also come to my life that you enjoy computer programming and uh, also yeah. coding and learning coding would you consider that an effective hobby of yours or would you consider that a study how would you differentiate it or is everything that you study a hobby what is your take it's uh, i think it's a study because i can't do it for hobby i need to study it so i'm not doing it in my free time i so i'm work, i'm working with it like if i'm doing it in my free time i'm i'm thinking as it as a hobby but coding for me is a study and i'm learning it to become a software developer so if i do it as a hobby i will miss some parts because i'm i must learn slowly so now i'm learning fast so i think of it as a study interesting interesting uh thank you very much harindu and mufizur rahman for expressing yourself on this amazing live where we are connecting the dots on effective hobbies uh, thank you for giving thank you for giving this opportunity to me
Yeah. Thank you. Absolute pleasure to have you. Um, I'd like uh, you all to stick around and for each and every viewer that is joining us on Facebook, YouTube and LinkedIn, please be kind enough to drop us a message in the comments section uh, about what it is that we do with learning and development and communication skills. Uh, today we have been happy enough to have uh, on this particular topic effective hobbies that is Harindu uh, Nagahawatta and Mufizur Rahman joining us in the suburbs of Colombo. Uh, also, um, please make sure that you understand that effective communications is something important regardless of your age, whether you are a child or an adult. And uh, learning this, uh, I would say, a very, very important soft skill has become a hard bound effort towards everyone, uh, including myself. And uh, perfection is a process. I'm still focusing on the perfections of my arts of communications, even though I run a uh, lead coach on this. And uh, we have an absolutely amazing time learning. I'd like to ask Harindu's comments on what do you think about the sessions we have on site? Are they beneficial? Are they productive? Yeah, they're beneficial. I enjoy those sessions a lot. A anything in specific you can share, Harindu, about in your own perspective, what is it that you like about the sessions? Yeah, I I get to speak a lot in in those sessions, and I love it because sometimes I can't speak a lot in public because I don't get the chance. But in that room, I get the chance to speak with my fellow friends, you, uh, Mr. Anderson, and I get to learn a lot of stuff. And I love puffer fish education a lot. They teach me well. I'm very happy to hear that. Thank you very much, Haridu, for your insight. How about you, Mufiz? What do you think about the sessions? What do you like about it? We learn new things uh, when we talk. Like we, uh, like we will talk now. Then I will learn new uh, meanings of the words. Like I like it. So you enjoyed because you learn new meanings of words and you learn your communication skills as well. Thank you very much, uh, Mufizur Rahman and Harindu Nagawata for joining us. Uh, wish you all the very best and uh, hopefully you get back to your effective hobbies and uh, we shall catch you soon on the live sessions. Uh, please uh, do uh, include uh, Papa Fish in your prayers because we are definitely working very hard to get our studio back in store. And hopefully when you all come back, we will be having a new studio operation uh, by this Sunday. Thank you. Take care. You're welcome. All right, my dear friends and everybody watching all around the world, thank you very much for joining us on this live session. Please be kind enough to reach out to us if there's anything that is that you want to focus on in terms of your communication skills and your spoken English. And we will be able to help you out in that particular area. Um, stick around for the last trailer. And uh, do make sure that you spread the word. Much love. Signing out. Shri Bali. Colombo, are you really good with ideas but need help with expressing and presenting it to your team or an audience or a group of people, whatever you might call it? I have had these similar problems too. Sometimes we know what to say how to say it but the struggles to express it to an audience is tough to understand and expression becomes almost impossible i needed help we need help practice and most importantly coaching now i am able to express myself i am trying to master the skills of presentation but perfection is a process and it's a journey anything to become a public speaker and to be confident is my game and i like to do it so do yourself a favor, join me, click the link and sign up and I should be able to give you a free consultation on how we can go about the